the most uh, important uh, thing is uh, tuberculosis. HIV, uh, malaria, tuberculosis. I would say everything which is related to infections. Developing an influenza vaccine that is uh, truly protective in young children, which are becoming a major target group for a flu vaccine. It's going to basically take over how we deal with medical problems in, in the world to come. I think that at the moment we've got a complete improper disproportionation between therapeutic aspects of medicine and preventive aspects of medicine. And I think that has to swing completely onto the preventive side. So at least when we start looking at R&D budgets, we're spending at least 50% of the medical budget on prevention rather than on therapy. So um, I'm looking forward to a world which is primarily a preventive world as opposed to a therapeutic world. The most uh, interesting thing would be uh, uh, to identify cancer vaccines. Well, I think the direction of that research is going in two main focuses, right? It's looking at neglected diseases, so the vaccines that we don't have already for those people who need them. And secondly, it's looking at modernizing old vaccines as well. We're very interested in niche areas, uh, traveler's vaccines, vaccines where there's probably an unmet medical need, or one where it's been challenging to de develop a vaccine. Um, for other companies that have scale capacity to produce global quantities of vaccine, they're really still looking at the influenzas of the world, uh, varicella, chicken pox type diseases. Um, and so the niche diseases don't necessarily fit for them. The great thing about therapeutic vaccines is that it offers a chance for those who suffer from debilitating diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, um, but even diseases that we've gotten used to but can have real impacts on the quality of life for individuals such as diabetes where sometimes in one in 20 cases can result in amputation. I mean that's quite a severe risk but it's a disease that we're targeting we think that we may have a possibility of eliminating for certain people. I think that we've got to cater for all ages of the population and I think we have to cater for all aspects of how we live. Europe in particular suffers from an ageing population and so as we look toward dealing with that ageing population it is about ensuring the quality of life that they have. So it's not about necessarily keeping them alive for longer but of course when we look at the longevity of individuals what we're talking about is trying to reduce the risk of them acquiring a disease to the same risk that say a 20 year old might have instead. So people of course will die and at one point will die, right? I mean that's, that's, just, that's just inherent. But what we're talking about with these therapeutic vaccines, especially with an aged population, is reducing the risk so they die from what you would consider natural causes rather than a debilitating disease instead. We'll always have childhood disease, but there is going to be this large growing segment of uh, diseases in the elderly. Prevention is better than therapy, so I would prefer <coughs> focusing on preventive vaccines.